I wanted to ask you both of afterworld and underworld and how tragedies transform us into other states. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Um, thanks for the question, Sarah. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> um, I, um, that's, a, that's a really beautiful question. Um, I, maybe I, I think the idea of um, the, the constantly flex propelled um, possible world <laughs> um, is, is where uh, transformation happens. Um, and that can exist in the present moment, it can exist in the past, and it can exist in the future. And so for me, I think um, the, maybe the, the closest thing is about um, submersion and like in how how we can uh it's 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 almost like when you go swimming <laughs> and um and the only way that you're going to stay afloat is by releasing uh and by sort of um allowing yourself to either be fully submerged um or be in that in between state um that is trying to gasp for air um and so so I feel like that's um, that's how that's how we can transform um, the loss or tragedy or crisis um, into a different type of experience. I don't know. Does that make sense? <laughs> Do you want to answer that? Do you? I feel like I'm talking too much. Do you want to talk ahead. about? Oh, okay, oh. fine. <laughs> um, I I think that um, yeah. I mean. Yeah, first of all, it's thanks so much for attending, Sarah. Um, I, I mean, I think for me, I, I feel like I kind of talked about this already, but I, I think just thinking about the underworld as this sort of like architecture or something was important because it was a way of responding to grief in a way that was not um, purely um, a state of like self-deletion or passivity or something. Uh, like, I think there's a passage in Freud where he says that um, melancholia is when the self is impoverished, but uh, the uh, grief is when, like, the world is impoverished. So I think part of it was this sort of determination to re-enrich the world by ha having this sort of plenitude. So the project, in a way, is very different from my previous writing, which was much more, like, uh, conceptual or like pure or something in that this is just like a ton of like material. It's like constant accretion of material. And so I think there's something about that that was like an attempt to like um, not fall in love with the world, but have this sort of like uh, stuffness, uh, this like kind of abundance 